Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, we are very, very excited about the 2022 Toyota Tundra because it's going to have a host of new features and technology never seen in a Tundra before. In fact, a new Tundra will become the benchmark and the world beater when it comes to performance with more power and torque than before. But at the same time, a lot of people are not happy about the fact that V8 engine is being dropped from a Tundra replaced by a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Now this twin turbo V6 is a proven engine already installed in the Lexus LS since 2018 timeframe. But people are saying, why is Toyota replacing the proven and reliable V8 engine with a twin turbo V6 engine that may not be as reliable as before? So let me explain to you why you don't have to worry about having a turbocharged engine in a new Tundra and why it's going to hit a million miles with no problem. So let me explain to you as an automotive engineer. I know, I know, we are all disappointed not having a V8 engine in the Tundra because personally, I love that V8 engine as well. But I have already talked about the reason for not having a V8 engine in one of my previous videos. So please go and take a look at that. Today, I just want to focus on why it's safe to buy a Tundra with the turbocharged engine. A lot of people have been commenting on my videos that turbochargers are nothing but problem, that they won't last two or 300,000 miles, that they will fail very early and cause a lot of maintenance issues. Well, perhaps that was true 20, 30 years ago when turbocharged engine was a hassle and there was a lot of maintenance issues. But in modern world, that is not the case. Toyota does extensive testing on these turbocharged engines in a way that you cannot believe. Are we talking about million? 2 million or even 3 million miles. That's how long Toyota will test out their new engines to make sure that it is reliable, durable, and it is free of any kind of issues. Did you know that when engines are being tested, they are connected to a number of equipment and they run them 24 seven, seven days a week, not just for weeks and weeks, but for month and month, an equivalent of three to five million miles at the very least. They keep running the test until such time engine literally breaks down. And at that point, it's probably hitting closer to 5 million miles. So under normal driving conditions, under normal circumstances, these new engines, even though they're turbocharged, will last a million miles. But here is the challenge. You have to maintain them. You do have to change all your frequently. You have to follow the manufacturer's suggested service intervals, and you have to make sure that you don't abuse these engines. So yes, perhaps they're a little bit more delicate than a standard V8 engine, but they will last a million miles if you take care of them. There's no way Toyota will release a new engine on a new production car without testing to its maximum potential. They will basically keep on testing these engines until such time that something breaks down. And then they'll examine the root cause of why that particular parts have failed and they'll improve it using Kaizen method that I talked about earlier and then change the design or change the supplier system to improve the component. And they will keep on repeating this process over and over again over a period of number of years until such time that engine or components or a powertrain meet the high standard of Toyota. So while I can't personally guarantee you anything, these engines have been tested for maximum reliability. And you won't believe the type of test that Toyota does on these engines. Everything from reliability, durability, engineering test, component test, supplier test, on and on and on. Even to the point of doing a material destructive testing on everything from aluminum to plastic to metal pieces in the engine compartment. So everything is stretched to the very limit and they keep improving it until such time it's ready for production. 
So for example, if we move away from the engine discussion for a moment and look at some plastic components inside the truck, things like the dash panel, plastic, you know, these are tested under a strong UV light, simulating a strong sunlight, not for 20 years or 30 years or 50 years, but would you believe more than 100 years worth of UV light is bombarded to these plastic pieces. And they keep repeating this test over and over again for all the components both inside and outside so that under crazy conditions they will still last 100 years or more. So more than a million miles tested on the components such as engine, suspension, transmission, more than 100 years tested on materials in the interior, exterior. These are extreme testing. In fact, I still remember doing some crazy testing, such as putting the car into drive, going full speed, and then forcing it into reverse, and doing it until the transmission actually failed, and trying to figure out what components failed. Now these days you can't really do that because there's automatic engagement and disengagement system to prevent you from shifting into reverse at high speed, but you get the point. So basically they tried to put the maximum amount of damage and maximum amount of force into a car or truck to take it to the limit. So that's what they've done to the twin turbo V6 engine in the new Tundra. And of course, over the years, the design of the turbochargers have evolved significantly. Gone are the days when you have to idle the engine for a few minutes when you come to a stop before shutting the engine because the lubricants will dry up in old days and can cause all kinds of problems in the turbocharging housing unit. Well, nowadays there's a system that automatically keeps the lubrication running in the system so you don't have to come to a stop, let the engine run before shutting the engine off. Those kind of stuff is all gone. Those are the old design. So there are many, many things that engineers have incorporated over the last several years to make the turbocharger as reliable as non-turbocharged engine. And it's a lot to do with how they test the engine for durability, for reliability in terms of the overall design, but in terms of components as well. So the suppliers of Toyota have to also take these things to the limit and go through the exact same testing. So if you are still worried about the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, please don't worry. Rest assured that Toyota would have taken that engine to the maximum extreme and would have tested for an equivalent of 100 years or a million, two million, three million miles and all of the potential failure points would have been improved and changed for the new model year. So I think the 2022 Toyota Tundra is beautiful, it's amazing, it's very capable and it will be very reliable indeed. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you soon.